Hi all, Fat Andy here. Right, I'm going to do, I'm going to make a nice homemade lamb and mint pie. Um, yeah, let's get down and have a little look, see what we're putting up. Right, it's nice carrots I've diced up. It's a nice petty pie peas. And just under 500 grams of lamb mince, which has uh, been in the freezer. I've just thawed that out. So, um, yeah, let's get started with it. Oh, and obviously, nice fresh uh, mint. Right, yeah, let's get started. Right, first thing I'm going to do, have a nice little drop of oil, that tablespoonful, just in the bottom of the pan, that's to stop the old uh, mince uh, sticking. So I've got lamb mince, I'll fold that out, and uh, just going to take the paint off the bottom of it, add that on the old defrost. I'm just going to get this into the saucepan. Just break it up as we go along and uh, get this mince ground off. Right, I'll get brain on this. Right, that's starting to brain off nicely. Now I'm using mince, so I did think about um, using chunks of lamb, but what I want to do is try to recreate the lamb and mint pies I've uh, reviewed in the past, really, at the end of the day. So, uh, that's why I'm using the old uh, lamb mince. So on a sort of medium or high heat, that's best just to keep it moving about, stop it sticking at the bottom of the pan, etc. That's the last thing we need. Right, that's no brainer off nicely. So I've got one large onion here, what I've chopped. I'm gonna put that into the pan. And also just a couple of just small cloves of garlic, just two. Um, I'm not there to overpower it with garlic flavour or with um, completely the taste of garlic that's just to add the flavour to it basically so we'll add that to the pan get that stirred in turn it up a little bit just let that cook off a little right that's cooking away nicely the next thing I'm going to do and put into the pan is two oxo cubes so I'll get these in. I don't drop the silver paper in, which I already have. Get these two oxo cubes in here. Cross them down. Just split open. Right, that's your two oxo cubes. Just give it a mix around. So, next thing that's going to go in is my diced carrot. Now, um, I've used about two big large carrots here for this. Um, I don't want to do too much carrot, but that's just to go in with a pie. Uh, petty pie peas. Still a little bit frozen. Just break them down. Like so. Then I'm going to have a nice blast black pepper. Um, probably, probably a good teaspoon, teaspoon for a bit of pepper, black pepper. Well, I'm adding new salt to this. We've got the salt. Um, what's in the oxos? And obviously, I will be adding gravy glands for this shortly. Just switch that down. Well, I've just got some of this mint. Just got a good old bunch of mint. I'm just pulling the leaves off the mint. And then uh, I'll get this uh, chopped up. This smells absolutely gorgeous, this fresh mint. Right, that's the leaves off the mint. So uh, all I'm just going to do, basically... Just chop this mint, get this all little chopped up, and get that in with the mints and everything. Right, that's the uh, all the fresh uh, fresh mint chopped there, as you see. Right, we're now going to get that in the saucepan. Right, just going to put the mint in now. 
a good handful of meat going in there with a the chop. Or overdo it. But I just need that nice subtle mint coming through. And I've got boiling water, which I'm going to pour into the pan. Plenty of it, because this is going to make the gravy as well, what we're going to use for the pan. And then I'm just going to mix all this in, like so. Just let this cook away now. Put that down to a sort of medium heat, get the lid on it, and let it simmer down. Right, just that's cooking. I just want to just put just um, probably a teaspoonful of the Henderson's um, relish in. Just bring that flavour out a little bit. Mix that in. Get that down. Get the lid on. And let that cook away. Right, let's get on with the pastry. Right, I've just got a dish now. I'm just going to just put the lard in here, just go around the edges so the pie don't stick. Get in the corners. You use lard dripping, you can use a bit of oil if you like. Um, even butter if you really want to. I have done it with that before, but um, there's just a bit of, bit of lard. Right. Okay, we've got the short crust, crust um, pastry there. So I'll just cut the end off. I'm just gonna see me do this before on the old videos. Basically, all I'm gonna do is just roll that out like so. I'm just gonna blind bake this. Just get your dish wet, right put your lard on straight over the top. Hope it will fit nicely. Get that in there, it's lovely. Get that down there. Yeah, that already put a hole in it, look. <laughs> Bit colder pastry actually at the moment. I will shrink back anyway, this stuff. Right. In that. Like so. Right, next thing I'm going to do, just put some holes in the bottom. And I'll get this in the oven around about 30 minutes and just blind bake this to make sure the old pastry is uh, cooked on the bottom. Right, that's the base of the pie been blind baked. The mince and everything is um, cooked in here at the moment. So I'm now just going to transfer all this lovely mince, onion, oh that smell nice and minty, you can smell them, that's absolutely gorgeous, so I'll get this all in this pie, right that's all the meat and the carrots and the peas and onion and everything in the pie, I'm now going to thicken this um, all this what's left, I'm going to thicken this up. Right, so what we're going to do, quick two gravy granules, shoot a load of them in, I'm going to get this gravy to a nice thick consistency. And all I do with this as well, just keep adding until you're happy with it, just make it as thick or as thin as you like, we like ours fairly thick. I'm going to add some of this um, to the actual pie and everything. So, uh, yeah, I reckon, I reckon that's looking pretty damn good myself. Right, let's get over there and add it to the pie. Right, this is our nice thick gravy. It's now going into this pie. Now, I'll keep some of it back. Um, See that cell. Right, that looks good. Yeah, pretty damn good that myself. Right, and we've got all this nice gravy left. 
with mixed in with the mints and everything else that'll be watered down just slightly and then used um, over the dinner right let's get the lid on this right we're going to use the puff pastry for the lid um, let's just get this rolled out a little bit still cold you can see there but it should be fine right next thing i'm gonna do um it's just egg egg wash these sides here so i want that pastry to stick onto that just a bit of egg wash around there i'm not worried about how it looks on the sides overhanging um it's a nice rustic pie cool am i looking forward to this get that round there same there. Right. That should do it. As long as the old pastry stick to it. Right, next thing to do then, put the lid on. So I'm just going to use this straight over there. Straight on top. Feel that off. Get in there. Now I know somebody's going to swear at me, mainly Janet, saying I'm wasting too much puff pastry around the sides, but you know, um, you're not going to lose a lot on this, to be fair. Just putting it around the sides. Let me get a knife. Right, I'm just going to trim, just, just trim that, just round there. I will be using this off-cut pastry. I am going to use this. Uh, just roll it. I know, like Janet said, that yeah, um, loses the puffiness. But I'm just going to just stick some dried fruit in it, a bit of sugar, a bit of honey in it, and uh, just cook it up basically in the oven. Right, let's get on with this. Right, that's that one. I'm just going to. Push down with a fork. Can use a bit of a spoon. I'm just gonna make a pretty pattern all the way round it. Right, that's my my pretty uh, pattern around it. Next thing I'm gonna do, give us a good egg wash on top. Now I always find that's better to egg wash it before you put the hole in the middle because otherwise you can. Uh, end up blocking the hole up with egg. Let me get this egg washed round. Right, that is now egg washed. Let's get a knife. I'm just going to basically make it a little on the top, let the steam, everything else escape. And that is that. It is now ready to go in the oven, so I shall get that in the oven. Um, in due course, get this cooked up, and the next time you see this, um, will be served up on a plate. I'll let you and good people know how long that took. Catch you in a bit. Right, here we have it, the lamb and mint pie. Now, I had this um, in the oven, cooking away there for a good 35, 40 minutes on a 180 um, for the top pastry. I've got some nice jerseys, some peas, and I've got peas in there with it, but um, it's what we decided to have. So, the burning question is, is this nice and minty? Now, the gravy was made out of um, from when I did all the all the meat and everything and kept some left over like you saw earlier in the video so uh, yeah let's uh, try this and see how many this really is let me just get this camera up a little bit so we can see what's going on 
Right. There we go then. That drip. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. I can taste that mint. That's not overpowering what I put in. Um just have a puff pastry. Mmm. Down to nice Jersey Royals. Mm. That lamb, doing that like that, is absolutely brilliant. You got that nice little hint of, excuse me, you got that nice little hint of meat, uh, sorry, mint, should I say, coming through. That's not too strong. That was the only thing I feared was that I was going to overpower it and everything. But no. That's gorgeous. That really, really is nice. Um, the flavours coming through. I never put any salt in it, only that black pepper you see. You don't need salt in it because you cook with your oxygen cubes and you use your gravy granules to thicken the gravy and everything else and what's in there and what went in the pie. So I think that's salty enough. That I'm really pleased with. That is lovely. And again, not because I made it, but that just is. Try it yourself. Give it a go. Lamb and mint pie. Lamb and uh, mints. I use was about four pounds. I think that's about four pounds forty, four fifty at Rowley's. I think that's 475 grams. Oh, you've got your pastry. Yes, you can make your own pastry and that. And I was going to do it funny enough today. I just didn't have time. Um, that pie there. That'll serve one, two, three, four. You'll get six out of there, are easy. So work all that like I, I don't know. Um, I'll see if I can put a costing on the screen. I'll try to work it out. But that's not a lot, I'll tell you. The time I messed about, I reckon... Um, what was it, seven, eight, nine quid maybe to make that, eight quid, um, by six, you know, I'll, I'll work it out, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put it on the screen anyway, but that is lovely, try it out, right, if you like this thumbs up, comments below, um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so to help the channel, and, um, I'll catch you lovely people in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.